Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk about all the earthquakes that are mostly fracking induced. They're in Oklahoma and spreading up into Kansas. It's just a matter of time before you have a major earthquake. It used to be Oklahoma had virtually no earthquakes worth mentioning. 86 earthquakes that USGS does report in the last week. The largest being a magnitude 3.5, which was 5 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 3.11 miles in depth. And all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Some property prices have dropped up to 9%, particularly for those that have sustained um, damage. Now this 3.526 people did report feeling this earthquake. It was on the 8th. That was on Saturday. It was reportedly felt in St. Joseph. Um, also in Cadu, Wichita, Delaware, Oklahoma City, but most of them along the Oklahoma-Kansas border. There was also a magnitude 3.2 on the 7th. Eight people reported feeling that earthquake also. It was reportedly felt in Tulsa, Broken Arrow, and I don't know, they don't have anything down here but we got Sardis Lake uh, Lake Worcester it looks like it says and on the same day there was another magnitude 3.2 5.8 kilometers in depth 16 people reported feeling that earthquake and like I said most people don't report feeling earthquakes the same it was felt up in Tulsa Broken Arrow and Sardis Lake it looks like Brown Lake also and also McAllister Army Ammunition Plant. Here it says it was a magnitude 5.8, so it must have been downgraded. You know, even if they stop the fracking, um, scientists know that the earthquakes will continue. The damage has already been done. Even if they stop pumping the wastewater into the ground, the earthquakes will continue. So just like fracking and disposing of the waste uh, product, yeah, the earthquakes are not going to quit. Neither are going to quit. On the USGS website, it says Oklahoma now has more earthquakes on a regular basis than California. And they know that it's connected to hydraulic fracking and the disposal of the waste product. Four magnitude 5 or greater earthquakes have occurred in Oklahoma, three of which occurred in 2016. In 2011, a magnitude 5.3 earthquake was induced by fluid injection in Renton Basin, Colorado. Earthquakes between a magnitude 4.5 and a 5.0 have been induced by fluid injection in Arkansas, Colorado, Kansas, and Texas. Are earthquakes induced by fluid injection activity always located close to the point of injection? No. Given enough time, the pressure increases created by injection can mitigate substantially horizontally and vertically distances from the injection location. Induced earthquakes commonly occur several kilometers below the injection point. You know these earthquakes are not just a threat to property but they're also a threat to human life and they're putting yeah profits over yeah people's lives. Um, yeah it's horrible. So if you're capable of having a 5.8, why not a 6 or a 7? And with all the changes that have been happening around the world, the increase in earthquakes, I would not be one bit surprised. A question for you that live there. What are earthquake insurance rates going for? Can you get them? I, I imagine you can get it, but how expensive is it? Please put it down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.